St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Lizita Fitzpatrick and her, peri and her families who are parishioners of the Sacred Heart Parish in Marystown, Newfoundland. They offer this Mass in memory of Thomas Fitzpatrick, who died on Christmas Day in the year 1998. By choosing to remember Thomas in this way, you are joined by thousands of people across Canada, and on their behalf, I thank you. Since I did not have the opportunity before, I'd like to wish you the joy and peace of Christmas on you and all your family. Thank you for your cards and for your gifts. Thank you also for your prayers for my nephew Kyle, who is out of coma, out of intensive care, and all the tubes are out of him. But there's a long way to speaking, to walking, and thinking. So please continue your prayers in his rehab. We have the beautiful Christmas carol, Good King Wenceslaus looked out on the feast of Stephen. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Stephen, and we ask this generous martyr to make us vocal in praising and giving thanks to God. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now let us praise God together as we say, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us now pray together. Lord, today we celebrate the entrance of St. Stephen into eternal glory. He died praying for those who killed him. Help us to imitate his goodness and to love our enemies. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which Stephen spoke. When his enemies heard what Stephen proclaimed, they became enraged and ground their teeth at him. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But his enemies covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him, and the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While he was being stoned, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Oh Lord, I am 
trust my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I am trust my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Beware of those who oppose you, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak and what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. By the, but the spirit of the fa for it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death and father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death and you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 